Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at the DAX count function in Power BI. So I've got this file open here with me, and I've got uh, three columns in this table one. The first column, if you can see the the data type is date. The second is text, and the third is a number. I've uploaded this file to GitHub as well. So it's called DAX count function you can download this file and do the tutorial with me. And here you can see that I've got the count function. So it says the count function returns the number of cells in a column. So it counts the number of cells in a column that contain numbers. And it accepts the argument number, dates, and strings. And says that if a row contains text that cannot be translated into a number, the row is not counted. So here, as you can see now, date can is actually internally stored as a number. So these it should count these two, but not the null. Similarly, for string and number example, let's look at the behavior and we'll figure it out. So we'll create uh, three quick measures. So we've created the first one, which is count of date. Let's just right click and click another measure. And we will ca call it count of uh, string. And let's create one more count of numbers. Use it enter. Let's go back to the reporting tab and over here what we will do is we'll just select a matrix or a table and just set it to focus mode. So let's say I set a count of date. It is giving me two as you can see. Let's put the date example and see. So it is just um, selecting these two dates. It's ignoring nulls. And let's see what happens when we say count of number and let's just say number example. And it's again, uh, it's saying that when so it, one number is let's go back and see number example one and two, and there are two blanks. That's an interesting one, the way it's actually doing this one. Let's uh, do a count of string as well here. So it calculates all the strings. But I'm wondering why it's uh, giving me for one, one. So it's actually counting. Uh, yeah, this is an interesting one. I'll just change this because it's confusing me. I will just uh, make sure that this cannot be summarized. Yeah, it still does the summarization. We don't want that, uh, and this is fairly misleading. But so it's just counting the numbers once. So it's counting two numbers, two dates. But for the string, it is counting everything. So it is counting null and it is counting blank. So in case of uh, date and uh, numbers, it doesn't count null and it doesn't count blank. But for string, it counts everything. 
So uh, that's an interesting one and uh, something that uh, we might find useful when we uh, build anything using the count measure. So anything which is a number or anything which is a date, it has blanks or nulls might throw off our results. Um, so in this video, we learned about the count function and the arguments the count function accepts, which is primarily number, date, and string, and how uh, what is the behavior for null values and blank values for numbers, dates, and strings. I hope you find this example useful and it clarifies some concepts for you. If you enjoy what I'm doing, please do subscribe to my channel. That would be great. Thank you.